What's going on guys, Bostingo32 Gaming here, today back with another video, we're doing something way off our topic range, um, <clears throat> we're in Minecraft story mode, I know you guys are going to comment and be like, what the hell, um, yeah I sat here yesterday thinking, what am I doing with my life, um, yeah we're just going to, this is, this is the free version, I haven't brought the whole thing, but I plan to, we've got another Minecraft one coming, um, so yeah, you know, story mode, just some way off our topic range, and because I tried to do LSPDFR before, that wasn't working, so let's hop into Minecraft PC story mode and see what we can get up to. Don't judge, guys. I can still act like a kid if I want to. Uh, we need... Yeah, wait, fella. Yeah, start episode one. I know, guys, it's not exactly the best thing to choose from. So, just try to enjoy. Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details. Ooh, spooky lost, story. Until all that <laughs> remains are myths, half truths, <coughs> to put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the farmlands. The legend of the Order of the Stone endures on a bridge as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land. Now, I've seen plenty of people play this. I know the whole story mode. I just didn't get to episode 4 or 5 or however far it goes up. Um, I actually know there's more than just four of them, so, you know, I guess we'll just wait and see what happens. ...all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the Redstone Engineer whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zoran, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. Mm, cool, eh? But when the <coughs> story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you uh, wouldn't have any weapons or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. Huh? Huh? What? It's just a dumb question. Forget it. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should start on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want mm -hmm. to nothing while well, we <laughs> Sounds like me sometimes. With us. Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like I don't know. Amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything. Now nah, I prefer the pig. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just. It wears you down. Self confidence. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Uh -huh. Fine. Love that pig. Just love him. You hear that? Oh, what an asshole. Axel, <laughs> yeah, that one coming. Great. And now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. That's what you get, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it. You scared us half to death. Nothing is fun if you're not scared half to death. <laughs> did you bring the fireworks? I wish. Of course I did. 
I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. As long as Reuben is happy, I'm happy. Happy? Well, zip it, <laughs> you die. Okay, hmm. relax. It's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. Fair we'll enough. Downstairs, okay? Okay. Oh, so apparently we got to look around. What do we got? Look at. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not possible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Sweet poster collection. I think, they, think he's dreaming, eh? Well, that's in the chest. Shears definitely take the knees. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. That's not stupid much. What the hell? What is that? A peach? An apple? One pear? Days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do... How does that an Endercon... Oh, dang it. Oh, because right. Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon <laughs> building competition, really should change the name. Yeah. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any. How many things do you have to look look at? Maybe someday. <laughs> let's look. Let's talk to Ruben. Dragon roar, Ruben. <laughs> the hell was that? That'll do, Ruben. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. What else we got? Jesus Christ! I wish I could zoom out. Uh, let's search this chest. To shabby, he says. Oh, so that's how you do it. Oh, can't use them though. Is that it? Is that everything? Everything? Just gonna make sure. Yeah, let's use this. Now, guys, I actually literally don't know how to play this, so don't judge. Seems legit carrying a pig down with one hand. I mean, how, you, how would you even do that? Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's <laughs> roll. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special <laughs> guest at this year's Enercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior, him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose, but if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Yeah, why not? Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally, he's awesome. It'd be amazing <clears throat> to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <clears throat> <clears throat> it Source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's <laughs> focus. Loser. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start <laughs> learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no. I'm Lips weren't even moving. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. <laughs> we might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. Let's build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a creeper. Eh. It's a monster. It's fine. We are <laughs> so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. 
I think everyone also went for Creeper and, and um, Enderman, but let's go Zombie. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. <laughs> Team on three. One, two, three. Team prepare. Action music, please. What the hell are we doing? What do we press? We're punching a tree. Okay, now I feel like I'm doing some stupid thing. Whee! <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Why were we on the back of a goddamn squid for? Jesus Christ, what are we doing with our life? Can't even finish pressing buttons. James is a little bit too freaking weird and fast, if you ask me. <clears throat> we were just punching a tree before. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> All exercising for nothing. What the hell are we doing with our lives? It's like one of those old animes. Yeah. We know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are Jesus so crossed. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Oh great. There's Lucas and the ocelots. The ocelots. <laughs> Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order oh, of the losers. <laughs> Great. The fail squad's here. Lucas, <laughs> get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. <laughs> name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for uh -oh. this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Nether Maniacs. You just thought of that right now? Yep. We've never even been to the Nether. Who the Nether cares? <laughs> Nether Maniacs, you guys are in booth five. <laughs> Nether Maniacs, there it is. <laughs> Kill put a pack of morons. Up type of assholes. Alright guys, well that's going to have to do it for this episode, so until the next one, I'm Boss from Boston Go32 Gaming, and I'll talk to you all then. Peace.